Welcome to the Gateless Gate Cone 41. This is the Bodhidharma's peace of mind, and we are really coming to the end here. We've only got a handful more of cones, and we've gone over 40 cones, plus an introduction. So this is really important to understanding this cone, because we've got the first and the second patriarchs just kind of going at it. And they have a, an almost nonsensical conversation. If you listen to it at the first level, it just makes no sense. It's a giant joke, and they're both in on the joke, and they, they, uh, I'm sure they had a, a great time laughing at each other on it. On the second level, it talks about sacrifice, and it talks about deep sacrifice. So keep in mind that there were 40 cones before this, and try and understand what those 40 cones meant before trying to jump in and understand this one. This is how the cone goes. So the second patriarch goes to the Bodhidharma, who's staring at a wall, and he just waits there. So he wants to be taught. He's traveled a thousand li or, or something like that, so he wants to be taught, and he waits there, and the Bodhidharma just stares at the wall. Finally, the second patriarch takes his arm, chop, chops it off, and says to the Bodhidharma, he says, I'd give my right arm to pacify my mind. It cannot be pacified. So it's basically an offering. He's basically saying, here's the sacrifice I'm willing to give to learn what it is that you know. And this whole cone is about sacrifice. It's about deep sacrifice and what it means. So the Bodhidharma looks at the arm, and he says, well, bring me your mind. And if you can bring me your mind, I'll pacify it. And now this is a big joke because they both know that, first they know that the arm isn't gonna, chopping off your arm is not gonna help you get peace of mind. Sorry, it's not gonna work. Second off, the Bodhidharma knows that he can't bring his mind. His mind isn't something you bring. The second patriarch says, I'm searching everywhere for it and I don't know where it is. And the second patriarch knows just as well as the Bodhidharma that uh, he's not going to find any mind, that the mind isn't something that you bring. The Bodhidharma says, I have already pacified it for you. The question is, how did it already get pacified? Because the first, the second patriarch, he did not seem like he was in a pacified mood. And the Bodhidharma didn't seem like he did anything. So what happened? So the answer is it was the sacrifice. It was the sacrifice that the second patriarch made. Trying to find Zen, trying to get through the gateless gate, requires the sacrifice of everything you think you know. The question is, so how much do I need to sacrifice? Well, you need to sacrifice everything. Okay, so how do I know when it's enough? Well, look at it this way. It's the very act of the sacrificing. Whether it's your arm, which we're not going to lose any arms today, so that's just symbolic. Follows the rule of Gute's finger. No one's going to lose an arm today. But the idea is that he would give his right arm. He'd give his whole body. He traveled 1,000 leagues. So that was his sacrifice. And the sacrifice itself makes it worth it. So do you need to travel 1,000 leagues? I don't know. Maybe you do. Uh, do you need to give your right arm? No, no one's going to lose an arm. But do you need to give everything you have? Yeah, it's, it's everything you have. It's everything you have. But it's the act of giving the sacrifice. So whatever sacrifice you give willingly and sincerely is the sacrifice you need to make. And it doesn't matter what that is, as long as it's willingly, sincerely. And that's why the first patriarch, Bodhidharma, said your mind's already pacified. Because he saw that the second patriarch had made the necessary sacrifice. It wasn't the arm. It was not the arm that was the sacrifice. It was the patriarch's willing mind, willing heart. Willingly and sincerely, the second patriarch showed that he was willing to give everything. And it was, whatever it is, whatever it was, it was the sacrifice. And Bodhidharma knew that the second patriarch would attain their, his peace of mind. So I invite you to seek for your own peace of mind and join me on the next episode of The Gateless Gate. Mm -hmm.